All right, guys, hello. We are we're looking at Geometrics Practice Test 2. Um, this time we are looking at item number 7. So on this one, you're going to start a new Inventor assembly file, and you're going to be creating a file within that assembly file. So you're going to create the sketch, well, create the model you see above. Basically, it's a cylinder with a O-ring groove cut around it using the Revolve tool. Um, and your answer is going to be the volume of the part. So let's do it. All right, so new assembly. We're going to be creating a part. Click. Start a 2D sketch. Doesn't really matter what plane. Start a circle from the origin. Got to do the origin. Because um, it tells you there at the origin. It says six inches in diameter and four inches thick. So six inches in diameter. Extrude at four inches thick. Okay, and then it wants us to cut an O-ring groove, 0.25 by 0.25, and it wants it to be 0.25 inches down from the top surface of the part. So, this is going to be my top edge. So, I need to get a plane open that will go the way we want it. I like this one. It goes through the part. So we're going to cut the YZ plane on. So if you did the same plane on the sketch when you started, this will work for you. We're going to make a sketch on this plane. Use the rectangle tool. Do not get at a corner or at an edge. You kind of get down here in the middle. But you can, but you are going to want to get on the vertical corner. So vertical corner, click, drag inward into, the, into your cylinder. So 0.25 by 0.25. And then we're going to dimension from the top of our rectangle to the top edge. And it wants it to be 0.25 down. Right. So then we're going to go to the revolve tool. It has our profile selected, and our axis is going to be the axis that runs through the center of our cylinder. Make it a cut from a join. All right, let's do a little check. It looks like it might be off. And that's, oh, this is a good point. Um, when we did this one, I noticed that looks like I had a zero on there. So that sketch was good, but I need to go under the revolution to our sketch to make this change. So if you typed what I said, you did this right. But if you typed what I did, you're going to notice that you have a little discrepancy. When I entered the dimension for the top of, I'll zoom in, there we go. So this distance is supposed to be 0.25, just like the others. Now, when I finish, there we go. Now, that's what you should see. So, again, if you have that little bitty um, little shelf up there at the top, then you typed what I said. Well, you typed what I did on the screen, which was 0 0.025. So, this is what you should have. This distance should be 0.25 from here to there. So, this is what you finish with, and you go under your part to eye properties and go to physical and you can get the volume.